This is a clip from the Chris Wright Show podcast. That kind of reminds me of that giant stuffed uh, lion's head that you had when we were on tour. <laughs> <laughs> like the, it's, van, it's at Van's house now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I give it to I'm Van. jealous. Yeah. You gave it? You went, that thing got left, when it got left to the Melody Inn and you went back and it was like hanging up on their, like they had a big mannequin up there. <laughs> it was hanging up there and you went up yeah, there and... Yeah, uh, they, they absconded it. We found this, uh, this crazy lion's head on tour and it... We didn't was, find it. It was it was when you were. We bought it. We we that's when we'd stop. I bought it a, on my credit we'd card. Stop at a gas station. Yeah, there's never any credit card. You just you'd show. You know, you come back and be like, "Why is John in there for thirty minutes?" And then he comes back with a giant stuffed lion's head. Look, is that real? Everybody asks. It's it only real. thirty dollars. <laughs> Some truck stop. And Zach left it at the Melody Inn, and so I had to go get it back. I had to say, "Hey, you know," and actually, yeah, we actually had some like altercation with him or something i was like i know i was just in here and oh they didn't they don't oh, know they didn't want to lay up on the let go of the lion's head Is that well no he saying? no they were real nice about it they actually did it once i told him what had happened but uh the guy from uh it was up on the locals wall. only yeah locals only that was the beef locals only told uh the guy at at the punk at the melody Inn, don't you know watch out for that guy because he's a jerk you had a problem with this guy, locals only. Yeah, yeah. I, we, we did. Hold on. Oh my god, I barely. So that's I had the night to go that in there and be... on stage with the piano, right? Was that locals only? Well, locals they had only. The art stuff hanging on the wall. The, locals only was nice because they let us play there, but then they didn't like the fact that I wrote our band name in in red ink, you know, in their bathroom stall or whatever. <clears throat> and I was like, I'll help you clean that's this up, man. He's like, No, just get out. You just get out. You just get out. He was just. And I was like, I'll help you clean this up. No. And he apparently <laughs> told the guy from the Melody Inn, "Watch out for oh. this character because he's a bad dude." And so I had to be like, I know that, that they told you I was a bad dude, but this is my lion's head. <laughs> so you, I, I would like to have it back. And they did. They gave it back to us uh, uh, because I told him I was going to give it to Van, who had recently lost his brother. <laughs> Oh, you, oh, it was like right. That all happened right at the same time. Yeah, that's why I wanted to get it back. I was oh, like, man, man, I want to give that to Van. And, I uh, thought you meant you gave it to Van recently. No, it was like, oh, geez, I, uh, it's, it's been over there for a long time. Yeah, he's had it for a while, so it was kind of a memorial to Van's brother, which is pretty cool. But uh, so that's that's why I think they they forgave me of the the fact that I wrote all over the, their I don't even, you know the, their their local businesses. Uh, <laughs> Their friend's bathroom or whatever. Yeah, it's a staple. That's what you got to do. Like, you know, that's like, what I was you trying go, to tell. Especially the guy. you go to I mean, you go to the Melody Inn. Like the, the guy's like, don't mess with that guy. He'll put something in your bathroom. Have you seen their fucking bathroom? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jeez. People are kind of silly. You know, and I think it might have been a misunderstanding. But you know. What happened, happened. Was it the sound guy from Locals Only? Or it was, was the it? owner. Oh, oh, God. Yeah, because I said to the guy, I was like, look, I look the here. Do I, get here's mad the about line. Him. Yeah, yeah, right. Why is he getting mad about that? I that's wonder, a good question. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to say to him. I was like, look, I will help you clean this up. And he, no, you just get the F out. And it's like, okay, dude. Punk rock never dies, brother. And, uh, but, no, uh, uh, Man, I was gonna say something. Do the owners get mad though? Like I thought that was a normal thing to do. Like you know, like yeah, you go to some of these yeah. bars. I can understand going like Chi Chi's and vandalizing. Yeah, you know, right. If it's but, a like, it's a rock these, club. Like, yeah, any place that serves alcohol, you know, you expect something in the bathroom to be kind of weird. Which I want to go on record right now as saying that uh, oh. I've always said Melody Inn is the best bar ever in uh, the city of Indianapolis. So if anyone's listening, this wow. I mean, I don't if, know if, if I agree with if that. If you're a douchebag, don't go. <laughs> Because you'll ruin the place. <laughs> but, uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. They have <laughs> cool acts that. there. They definitely have cool acts there. I haven't been there. You've been there. So like I was saying, uh, Melody is the worst bar in Indianapolis. Don't ever go there. The, what about the crowd? <clears throat> How is the crowd? The crowd's amazing. They don't let you mosh there. Well, what are you talking about? As long as, yeah, they do. Define mosh. Well, I don't know. I just know that they kick I mean, you out if you get too rowdy. Well, I think it's stage, silly. I don't, I don't the like stage, it. That means. That's what you go to locals only for. Locals only, you know, you don't mosh there. Locals I know only, you're not going to yeah, mosh locals there. Locals only, you can't even so draw to, on the bathroom. Wall. Apparently, yeah. I guess I was out of place to, uh, you know, I, I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't be mad uh, that he said that. He, he, they run an adult establishment. You know, there's no moshing. There's no drawing on the bathroom well, walls. Not adult establishment. No. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, and where is the line? You know. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I was glad that they let us play there. I offered to clean the thing up. The guy didn't want to. But here's the funny thing. I said to the guy, I was like, look here. I don't know who you are, man. But I... <laughs> I <laughs> this is basically coming. This is coming back to me now. So it's like I don't know who you are, guy, but I have played at this venue, man. He's like I'm the owner. I remember you guys playing here. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I will help you clean it up. <laughs> no, no, just get out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I said some stupid shit to uh, when we were at Skatopia. We were in the uh, Brandon. museum, yeah, Brandon or whatever. And he's like, what, 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 what did he say that made me? It was like. He, it was, you did, he I didn't know who he was. Like, like, yeah, you did. I, I never knew who Brandon was. But like, I oh, know you talked to him. Like, so I thought it was some other guy or something. And like, Brandon comes in and you're like, yeah, I heard Brandon was saying that Van Margera came in here and was just being a goofball. <laughs> And he was like, dude, what? I am branded. I didn't say that. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I heard like, Bam Margera is an asshole. And he's like, what? No, Bam Margera is really cool at this place. I'm like, no, I heard he was a prank. He's like, who told you? I'm like, I'm not Brandon. And he goes, I'm Brandon. <laughs> Yeah, those are those are some good people, man. It's they're they're definitely. I like those people. We should get them on the show. Um, have you have you seen the Eighty Eight Acres of Anarchy? Have you seen? I'm the, not watching. Wow, well, it's good. I, yeah. It's on Netflix. I've it's pretty heard interesting. Like three That's years before it came. It. Yeah, yeah. Brandon's in that. Brandon. Uh, and what what, what is it? Uh, uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce is the main dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, Martin. Yeah. Bruce Martin, is it Brandon Martin? I think so. I know, and that kind of go into hair the, and he had a beard, so I'm going to remember him next time. So I don't put my he's foot re- in my mouth in front of the He's super host. cool, especially for being the the son of the the big cheese. You know, that's a tough position, and he's super cool. Like he didn't have any type of ego. And dude, even wasn't Dale messing around with like his girlfriend at one point? And it was like, oh my oh. god, Dale! Like, don't dude. I don't know anything about that. I, and if I did, I wouldn't admit to. But I honestly don't. Well, I, I don't know. In my memory, I think that that, that that girl that some some girl that Dale was talking to was Brandon's. You know, I thought it was. I was like, dude, he was not going to look favorably on us for you messing around with his girlfriend. But he was totally cool with it. And so that's another cool point. You know, that may have not really happened, but <laughs> yeah, I that's what I remember. I don't remember that. Yeah, there's a lot of things that, that just, may not be I remembered remember from Skatopia. I just remember our name not being on the first poster. So then we That's had, we had food. Like, and here's another. Yeah, I'm going to write them now. I got, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I got a pad here. I got a lot of names. I'm going to put Foo on there. Foo. Yeah, so we had, our name wasn't on there. And uh, then when they had, it finally made it when they had the giant printout of it. I saw our name small, you know, with the other 200 <laughs> bands. Though, like the memorial one that we had to sign for uh, for Bruce after, after he got in the accident. Yeah. With the tire I do, yeah, I remember that. I thought that was pretty, that was cool. I, I wish that place were closer, that we could be more, like, integrated with it, but Foo would, Foo would definitely come on the show. There's something, called, like, they took his name, like, I don't know, like, they got mad that Foo put his name on because he was booking all the bands, and then they it, they took his name off. Am I not supposed to talk about this? No, uh, I'm just saying that that seems to follow Foo. Foo seems yeah, to have, like, kind of, yeah. a, for some reason, there's always some type of dramatic pretense to it, but. That's what you get with the food. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's so a dynamic personality. You, know, you can't not, put him in the box. Yeah, let's not and, dig too deep into food until we can actually dig into his face, right? You know, get him in here in the broom room. Yeah, we'll get food on the show, and I would like to studio. put Skatopia on there too, because they've been very cool to us in the past. From the Chris Break Show podcast. Podcast.